Aloha and welcome to the Pet Hui. We are so very fortunate to be here with my dear friend Jordan Segundo, who has flown all the way from California to help promote the Celebrities and Their Pets fashion show. And he and I have been doing this for the last 13 years. Wow. Jordan, can you tell us why it's so important for you to promote this event? You know, it's so hard to believe that it's been 13 years, and every year has always been great to see, you know, friends and different celebrities within the community, entertainment, business. But it's just a great cause, you know, not only uh, can the public and the community see us with our animals, Animals, but also animals that are up for adoption. And uh, for this for this show, I'm actually walking with our family dog. This is Coco, uh, my brother's little one. So I'm bringing her along. But it's just a wonderful cause. And you know, for folks who are looking for animals or pets, I'd say adoption is is the best way to go. How difficult is it to walk away from these dogs every year and not take them home? I know there are a couple years where I wanted to take one home. They're so adorable. This is a great event. Folks can come out here, not only see the celebrities walk and and, and with their animals, but Look at animals that need to be taken home. All right, so those animals that Jordan can't take home, he's asking you for your help. Here's more Hui. I'm Allie. I'm Mike. And we help dogs lose weight. This is Lonnie, and she has had Lucky from a puppy, about four years old now, and her husband passed away and left her with what was a little puppy who grew into this mammoth pit bull. I am taking away your, your boy. Lucky is uh, a four-year-old Great Dane Bull. His breed is typically in the 80-pound range, and he's got this terrible weight problem where he's been up to 120 pounds. It's very difficult for me to walk him because he's pulling me all over the place, and one time walk with him, and then he pulled me, and I couldn't hold him because he's big. We are working to bring him back down into the 80s, and the Weight Loss Boot Camp, our five-day intensive exercise and weight program, is aimed to bring him back into his 80-pound happy range where he can be a healthy, fit dog again. When Ellie took him to the boot camp, I was so excited, I was so nervous. I said, this is the first time that he he's going to part from me. I've never been you know, away from me for four years. So I was kind of worried at that time, worried, excited. So when she sent me this picture, he was swimming at, in the ocean and he looked so happy. <laughs> Obesity is a big issue with pets today. 58% of dogs are obese or pets are obese. And uh, they get a lot of health issues, back issues, they get lethargy, they become antisocial, behavioral issues, they can become diabetic. The list goes on and on and on. There's a lot of health issues associated with overweight dogs, just like with overweight people. Today is day one for Lockie's weight loss boot camp, and today he weighs in at 119 and a half pounds. Yeah, our work is really cut out with Lockie. Our policy is to just try to keep the dog moving all the time and have fun and sell it to the dog as a fun activity. We just do activities all day long with him. One of our favorite places to take the dogs is the sandbar. It's a great place. We can let them off the leash even if we don't know them that well because they're in a confined area. There's really nowhere they can go to. It's a very low impact, high resistance where the dogs are walking generally chest deep water. We do jogging, walking, we throw toys between us. So it's a really massive workout. Our plan for Lucky is to uh, bring his weight from 120 pounds down into the 80 range. Uh, he is fed and cooked food, which is not appropriate for a dog, like grilled cheese sandwiches. He used to go to the kitchen and smell, and then wait, and then wait until I give him. Otherwise, he just sit there and just stay there. <laughs> yeah, he loves food. Yeah. Okay, sit, sit, baby. Good boy. Some bacon. Good boy. And so we want to make sure that we are teaching Lani the appropriate foods to feed him and uh, get the weight off of him 
in a slow and, and a safe manner so that he can maintain the weight loss. Before I feed him like three scoop a day, but Ellie said now one scoop is enough or half a scoop because he looks must be hungry or something, but he's not hungry. He's just <laughs> he just loves to eat. So I try to make him, you know, an ideal weight so it's much more healthier and much more fun to and easy for me to walk to. When it's no, not too big, yeah. <laughs> it's been six months since we last weighed Lucky. So when we started with Lucky, he was 120 pounds. We now have him in his approximate ideal weight of 87 pounds. And it has been a lot of hard work to get him here. It has been a real roller coaster. So we have been um, making treats, uh, dehydrated vegetables and meats and proteins, um, no carbohydrates, which are appropriate for dogs. And that's been really helping her to cut down on the table food and ice cream and other things that he shouldn't be eating. So our product is natural, organic, uh, no preservatives or additives, meats, fish, fruits and vegetables. We cook to order, we make to order. It doesn't go into the dehydrator until you place your order. And then uh, my husband is the taste tester, so we eat everything ourselves to make sure that it's healthy for your pets. If you wanna order some healthy treats, made with alohatreats.com.